All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the internet world. I am Ryan from Mr. Al Gaming, and we've got another really good live session for us this evening. And I am joined by good friends that I haven't talked to in a very, very long time. Both of them, actually. Uh, Chris Morris in the kind of like the, per in the, the purple people eater. Tonight? Yeah, my camera, my camera's <laughs> buggy tonight. It's cold. It's still warming up. It's still warming up here in Canada. And then, of course, Maurice Andrews Jr., sir, welcome to the stream. Oh, man, thank you for having me. And I'm assuming I can speak for Chris on this. We, we, we still love you, man, even though you forget oh. about us every now and then. We, <laughs> we, we still love you. <laughs> I yeah yeah Maurice was joking with me the other day on Twitter he says don't forget about us little men on the on, 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 on the inter on the interwebs and stuff like that. But if I don't re if I remember correctly, I think Maurice, I think you've got more subscribers than I do. Do I, do I really? <laughs> I think I think you do. I think you're in like the two seventies or something like that. No nah, man, I'm uh two forties I think. Oh okay. Well, it's oh. still higher than me. You're still, Either way, you're you're both blowing me away, you're, so it's all you're, good. You're, 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 you're <laughs> yeah. still rocking yeah. the internet world. I'm going to give you each just a, a, a little bit of slice of time here. Tell everybody who you are, if you can find you on the interwebs. Uh, Chris, who are you? Uh, Chris Morris, I'm aspiring board game designer and sometimes Ooh. contributor to uh, uh, the Cardboard Conjecture, What You've Been Playing Wednesdays. I'm on Twitter as Spidermo and also on Hive now, also mm. as Spidermo, just to keep it consistent. So, um, yeah, yeah, just trying to uh, have some fun with you guys. And then Ooh. we've also got Marvel Champions Maurice coming oh. in at us. <laughs> the alliteration. All right. <laughs> yeah. So my name is Maurice Andrews Jr. Uh, I, I just do YouTube as a hobby. It's just fun connecting mm. with people. Um on the interwebs uh, the I say about 90% of my content is Marvel champions now. So every now and then I'll do a review of a board game, but uh, whenever fantasy flight drops some news on us or whenever I just feel like talking about Marvel champions or just something about board gaming in general, um, I just drop it on my channel, which is my name, Maurice Andrews jr. And you can catch me on Twitter at M underscore Andrews jr. Awesome possum, and you've done some really cool, interesting things. I think you said you were on a, you're on a panel not too long ago with the uh, the folks over there uh, at um, our family. I yeah, think, that, at, it was super fun, man. Yeah. We we talked about uh, some of the, I guess the newer, well, I won't say newer, but games that we would introduce to people to get them beyond Monopoly, and uh, kind of talked about how we can get more uh, people of color into board gaming. Mm -hmm. You know, we still kind of. <laughs> slacking in that department in terms of numbers so we were we just kind of discuss you know how how we can uh reach out into our communities to grab more people into the space awesome possum and i am also ryan mr l's gaming you probably are here watching this because you know me some from somewhere and if you don't know who i am i'm gonna invite you to like this video subscribe to the channel hit the little bell so you get notified every Tuesday and Thursday, these videos are going live and we are gonna hop on over. We are gonna be playing a little game that has come out recently called Flamecraft, uh, published by Cardboard Alchemy. And I also I think Lucky Duck Games is also on the box somewhere. And I, this is how prepared I am for the stream. Designed by... <laughs> flip, flip, flip. <laughs> designed by Manny Vega. Manny Vega, which was, a, I think this was a hot little Kickstarter game not too long ago, and it has been recently fulfilled. Retail copies are available in limited supplies in some places. Uh, if you're from Saskatoon area, I believe all of the um, game stores are currently sold out, but there are some Kickstarter extras if you want some miniatures and metal coins and <laughs> deluxe bits i guess <laughs> i am gonna switch us on over to the screen we are gonna be playing on tabletop simulator tonight because it is physically impossible for all three of us to actually get at the round the same table currently so we will <laughs> use this virtual table i guess <laughs> which is okay there's a really pretty good mod 
out there for this game and yeah it's all nicely set up now what you're going to get not what you're not going to get uh from this gameplay is that this board that's in the middle of the table here is actually a fairly nice large neoprene mat that kind of spans the width of almost a, a like like a dining room size table it is a very long piece of neoprene but it is very very nice to look at um yeah agree so we are just gonna quickly or i'm gonna try to quickly set up and kind of explain what we're doing in this game we're in this game we're in this kind of like this fantastical village where um dragons seem to kind of run the joint <laughs> how, how i'm kind of how i'm kind of putting it together and you're going to be like friends with these dragons and try to like you know just trade goods with the dragons for other things and you know kind of recruit some dragons to go on some errands for you and enchant like put some enchantments on top of these shops and whatnot and really at its heart it's a resource management game with a little bit of player interaction sprinkled on top every now and then and yeah so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking we have we each have a little dragon token i'm going to just grab the blue players here there's like a little dragon token here that we are going to take that and we will do one of two things we're either going to go visit a location and then when we visit the location we're going to gain resources we're going to play some dragon cards out of our hand we can activate dragon abilities these little um like whether it's the little flame icon we can activate those little abilities and we can also um oh gosh i'm already forgetting we have these little we have these little player icons these little player aids down here there they are well that's just the icons flip that baby over there it is i'm talking about the gathering actions what i was doing when you go to the you go to the location you get the stuff place down dragons activate dragons oh and you can if the shop has an ability you can trigger it so pretty standard stuff or what you could do on your turn is that there's these enchantment cards in the middle there's a little purple deck here and there's these are kind of like what i'll kind of call contracts but they call them enchantments and if you have the right if you have the <laughs> um required goods like i'm looking at this one here the spell cast iron if i have two pieces of meat and three purple potions i can enchant a shop i spend my resources I will take that and I'll find wherever the ironworks shop is, like a, like an ironworks shop, and I'll tuck that by this tar. And now this shop will give us a little bit more items. And plus it's also going to give us victory points. And this one also gives us a dragon card. And they all give us some sort of varying degrees of victory points, which I believe they refer to as, is it like friendship? Or no, some reputation. Reputation. I like friendship. Let's call it friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Gives us friendship points or something like that. Nice. Nice. Am I talking? I'm, I'm probably thinking of My Little Pony or something like that. No, My think, Little Scythe. Think, <clears throat> my Little Scythe. There my Little Scythe. You get, there's a there's little friendship track <laughs> there. And so you can gain, you can gain those things. Um, there's one special one right here. Um, that allows you to uh, trade in multiples. So if you only have one iron and one leaf, it gets actually zero points. But if you have two of them, you get two points. If you have three of them, you get four points. If you have four of each, you get eight points type thing. So but you know I'm turning it in for one of each, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it, man. Go for it. <laughs> Yeah, um, and so what we are going to do here to start the game is we are each going to draw three. I'm going to write it over here. We're going to draw three dragon cards into our hands. I'm just going to come over there. I got my three dragon cards into my hand. All right, I got mine. And you have a hand um, limit of six dragon cards. Okay. So, you gotta, so if you ever get above six, you have to discard down to six and we're also going to draw whoops sorry sorry i thought there was a question uh and then we're going to draw two of these fancy dragon cards and we're going to draw two 
And these fancy dragon cards, these are opportunities to either score points in game if it has a little sun in the top right hand corner, like my card here has a little sun icon, so I can at one point in time cash in those resources and get the points. Or they might have a little moon icon on them, like this one, which will be at the end of the game. This get this card will score. So if you haven't so you got in game, which are the suns. So at any time during your turn, you can cash that in for some points or some other things. Or we got the moon cards, which will score you end of game victory points. And there's going to be more opportunities to grab more of these cards throughout the game. But at right now, we have to choose one of those two and discard the other one. And you know what? Maybe I will. Uh, how do you zoom in on a card? Uh, wheel. Oh. Yeah, use your wheel. Um, alt, alt, and then your wheel. Ah, there we go. All right. Ah, there we go. Okay. I'm trying to get rid of Steven. I like, Steve. I like, I like, I like Pinky Toe. That sounds like, like a great. That is a good one. So now I'll just, yeah, I'll discard my other one down here too. I mean, for for anybody keeping track at home, I am keeping Boo Boo. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey there, Boo Boo. Hey, hey Boo Boo. <laughs> We're going for a dodge peek in the baskets. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get rid of was his buddy. Buddy, oh, I, I think I, I just put it the discard pile just over here. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. Uh, buddy. All right. And I think we were in agreement. I think we were going to try one of these companion cards. Yeah, why so not? For it. Sure. So I'll draw one of these companion cards into my hand. And the companion cards, they are just a card that we can use at one point in time in the game. I don't even know if it's public knowledge because we've never, I've never actually used them yet. <laughs> Let me just take a look here. I don't know if it's public knowledge or not. We could play the friendly variant. Where is the setup? I don't even know. <laughs> man i'm i'm nailing we were we were, I, we were so prepared for this right i i am nailing this live this live chit chat thing uh select front one of the players with the ability side face up oh there it is hey so you can put that in front of you so i have eric and it says, after using a shop ability, I can use it a second time. So I can trigger a shop oh, twice. Cool. And then yeah, it looks I got, like... Uh, Peter. Yeah. So when you reveal new shops, you may go to one and take a new turn. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. That's a very nice one. <laughs> and I, have, I got Daniel. He says that when I enchant, I may spark dragons instead of shop. Okay, so Ooh. you can flame what they call flame. Yeah. Dragons that are flame. over they're they're over here in the park. Um right ah, over here I on the flame. side. Okay, flame park dragons. Okay. So you can activate uh yeah, park dragons instead of nice. whatever's at the actual location. Nice. Yeah, enchanting is actually a pretty neat action because not only do you get to get the thing, but then you can also activate any number of dragons instead of just one dragon. Right, okay. At that location. And then all of the all of the dragons have a different color. Like right now, at all of the locations, there's one of each type of dragon. So all of the bread dragons, their abilities are all just draw a new dragon card. Uh, the ironworks are gain two of one good from a shop or dragon. Uh, okay. The meat dragon is place a dragon in town. Uh, the potion dragon is swap a dragon in town and then activate it. The diamond dragon is just gain three goods, uh, different goods. Different goods, yeah. And then the leaf dragon is as gift a good to another player and gain two. I'm calling them friendship. I don't care what anybody else is saying. I'm calling it friendship. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But if we're if, if if all the rules lawyers out there, it's called reputation, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't reputation just another type of friendship? There you go, my man. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. He rule. He rule. Lawyered me. <laughs> Let's go. All righty. So I think we are all good to go because I don't think we start off with any 
resources. I'm pretty sure we don't. Sweet. I'm just looking here. Da -da 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 -da. Player setup. Yeah, got our three dragons. Got our fancy dragon. Our player aids. There we go. We're not playing in a four or five player game. In a four or five player game, the fourth and fifth players get a good of their choice. That's nice. All right. Here we go. I guess I'll let my two guests battle it out. Who wants to go first? I don't think it's fair that the that the live stream guy <laughs> gets to go first. Well, I think uh, I think we have to be Canadian and uh, you know default to our <laughs> oh. American friend. Oh, we're okay. Since, um, yeah, since I'm a capitalist, I'm definitely going all in. There. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> take full advantage of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all yeah, right. I don't. So, yeah, I don't even see it in here. The who who gets to go first, but. Oh well. All good. Maurice, All good. we have only volunteered. You can go first. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So I'm gonna go to the. Is it potable potions? Potable. Yep. Potable potions. So I'll go ahead and gather over here. Yeah. So for gathering, so for gathering, he's gonna get two potions. Yep. One for the shop and one for the dragon. One for the shop. One for the dragon. Nice. My two tokens. Then yeah. so that's all right. So you're you're good, Maurice? Yeah, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh -oh. play this dragon here, Earl. Which will get your boy the gold. Mm, yes, because then all all shop locations have these Place and they're looking for specific types of dragons. Mm, and right. if you play that specific type of dragon at that location, you'll get the little reward. And once yeah. a location is full, like it has three dragons in it, then we're going to reveal another new location to add to the board. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and fire up uh, my boy Tannen and swap him out. Oh. With uh, Bright Gym. Oh, interesting. Mm. I'll go ahead and fire up Bright Gym. Nice. And get um, one of these, one of these, one of these. Yeah, so that's the that's the purple potion dragon's abilities that they get to swap the dragon, and then they get to flame it. Mm. Yeah, they are the best. They are causing all sorts of shenanigans around town. People are going left, right, and center all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be it for me, I think. I think that's the last part right. of it, I think. Yep. Now, I'm going to let turn pass to Chris. Okay. Sounds and good. So, now, so now, if Chris wants to actually come up to the potent potable uh, potent potable. I'm thinking of like that celebrity, <laughs> yeah. celebrity Jeopardy <laughs> SNL <laughs> potable potions. <laughs> if he wants to come to that location, since Maurice is there, Chris would actually have to gift Maurice a good. Oh well, I don't think I want to do that just yet. Yeah, it's too early in the game for that. Um, <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna go visit Draco Bell. Because uh, that, uh, that sounds mm. great. So I will take two meats for that. Mm -hmm. And then I can place a dragon there. And I think I will place... We'll place another another meat guy here. So we'll put Cutlet down there. <laughs> cutlet. <laughs> and, yeah. And that gives me a coin for doing so, I believe, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, and then I can fire up uh, one of my dragons that are there? Yes. Okay. So that allows me to place another dragon in town. So let's just... Oops, hold on a sec here. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. I'm going to place some... I'm going to put them in the potable potions here. Ooh. Yeah, because... Oh. Because it wants the diamond, and I've got a uh, good old jewel heart there, so so jewel heart's going to uh, going to flip down there. So awesome, yeah. and 
And what icon did you... Oh, you, you, yeah, you get another fancy dragon. Yeah, so I will just take one of those guys there and add it to my hand. And I can hold on to... As long as I don't over, over go my, uh, my hand limit, right? Now, I believe there's no limit on the fancy dragons. Oh, okay. So that's all right. But I all right, will... and there's no shop ability, so... Yeah, so yeah. I guess I'm done then, right? I'm pretty sure there's no limit. I'm just going to read here. Uh, there is no limit to the number of fancy dragons you can have. Nice. And since you filled up a location at the end of yep. your turn, we get a new location. And you get All to right. put it whatever. The, the location of where it goes, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we'll I'm just going to uh, drop that down here. So we've got uh, Le Petit Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like that. He's like creme brulee-ing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the little, that little thing. Lovely. So lovely. here, when you place dragons in here, look, now you can see that you're going to gain points and other so different So many friendship of points. Yeah. The, far right, <laughs> the far right dragon slot is a wild card, so it's like a, you can gain any resource of your choice. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, oh, sorry. No, you get to place any dragon of your choice in that slot to gain a point and a and Excellent. a gold. So very, very handy. And place a dragon in the shop to gain gold instead of reputation or take all dragon in full. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. There you go. There you go. Huh. Set, set me up for the win there, Ryan. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. So I will take my little drag on and I am going to come up and go. Oh my gosh. So many, so many good choices. So many good choices. But I think the better choice will be that I will come up over here to where is it? The leaf the, the, over here. This, uh, what do they call it? The, the hello nursery. <laughs> hello nursery <laughs> hello is that was that, is that like animaniacs or something like that yeah, something like that yeah. <laughs> man talk about a call bag <laughs> oh my goodness I, I, I am correct in that right not only is ryan old but he's also old school so, <laughs> <laughs> so i get my two little leafy tokens i can play down a dragon and what what am, what's, what are we looking for in this here we are looking for all sorts of different things. I will place down my uh, my, my, my Cinnabon okay. to get a okay. gold. And I don't think it was mentioned. Gold are worth a victory point at the end of the game, but they also can be used in place of any good. That's a wild card okay. uh, token as well. I will flame up. You know what? I will flame up Cinnabon to draw another uh, dragon card. And um, I think that's it. There's no shop ability. So that is that is my so turn. Could, could you have taken a dragon from the park? I very well probably should have if I was paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I, just making sure I wasn't missing something. I was like, ah. Yes, and because the time one of the timers of the game is yep. once the dragon deck runs out of cards, okay, or when the enchantment deck runs out of cards, okay, those are one of the two end game, one of the two end game triggers. And once one of those decks is empty, then every player gets one final turn. All right. So yeah, I think that was my turn. Beauty. All right, Maurice, over to you. Yeah, man, y'all took all the good spots, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, the La Petite Dragon looks like a very enticing place. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. It's not terrible, no. but, you know. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I like that. It's not terrible, <laughs> but it's not great. Yeah, it's not where I was anticipating, but it's all good. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here to Smith Mark. And I'm going to go ahead and gather there. Get my boy Shale down. I got to grab my two 
irons before I get too far ahead of myself. Oh, okay, there he is. You would actually get three irons. Uh, I, I oh, didn't, oh, oh, no, uh, you, oh, yeah. Yeah, you, played, you played the dragon. Again. Never yeah, mind. Because I, 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 I'm such I'll a good host. I'm such a good host <laughs> that I'm paying attention to what's going on here. Ryan's just giving away things for free. So. <laughs> Let's see, get a coin from there. Oh, I'm so terrible at paying attention to what's happening on other people's yeah, it's turns. Sorry, man. <laughs> sorry, man. I'm trying yeah. to make sure I don't cheat you, though. I, 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 I blame it because I'm, I'm doing all the backdoor stuff on the live stream here. So, yeah. oh, all good, all good. <laughs> It's all good. I'll go ahead and take another two. Uh, I'll go ahead and fire up uh, Shell. I guess they're both the same and get another two iron tokens. So much metal. And then Look that'll at... be the end of my turn. Look right. at the goods. Yeah, he's just got everything right now. So I'm going to head over to uh, Potable Potions. Oh, come and... on. Ice, oh, well, ice. you know, I... Come I on. Ice. You can come visit it. too, Ryan. You I can, can I could. I... <laughs> <laughs> come on in. The potions are warm. My man. Yeah. Uh, so that gives me two potions and two diamonds, if I am reading this correctly. You are reading correctly. Uh, right. And then I can no longer place a dragon there to gain a reward, but I can fire up a dragon. So let's fire up Earl. And we're going to swap Earl with Pan. Mm. And my man getting all the shops out. Yeah, and then Pan allows me to draw a dragon. So um, let's take... Let's take... Draw him in there, and we'll just replace a card right away from the park. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So do that there. And so I did that, did that, and there is no shop ability, so that'll be the end of my turn. Interesting. I do and really want to come to Potent po you, Potent you really Potables. Should. You really should come to Potent Potables. I'm coming. I'm, I'm going to be calling it is, you Potent Potables the, the entire time. It's the best place to be. <laughs> <laughs> Missed opportunity. I'm getting a, okay, graphic I'm getting design a real. Uh, I'm getting like a real reading rainbow vibe from the uh, the young lady <laughs> behind the counter there too. So, oh yes, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, see you. I want to. I want to yeah. say missed opportunities on the graphic design for not calling this potent potables. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh There's my god! Tra trademark infringement, I think. So, <laughs> <laughs> just just ever just ever so slightly. Yeah, yeah, just ever so slightly. Uh, okay. I think. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, I can't. What do I got? What do I got for my goods? Ryan, you know you want to. You know you want. You know. To, you know you want it. Yeah. yeah. You know you want it. Okay, you I'm going to it. come up. I'm actually going to come up here to the La Petite Dragon. Oh, oh nice. nice. La Petite Dragon. I am going to. Place I love down. How Maurice and I are both like, nice. You're going to make that so much better for both of us, aren't you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no I'm, comment. Yeah. I am going to put flambe into. Um, look, you see? Look, 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 look at the French going on nice. in here. Oh, I see. So much. Okay. So much. Sorry. I should so have you grabbed. You don't have to place them in order, hey? No, you don't. No, okay. That's I, cool. I forgot to grab my bread token for going there first. Yeah. Now I put the guy down. And I am going to gain, instead of gaining the two hearts, I'm going to grab two gold coins. Because that's the shop, that is the shop ability. It says place dragon in the shop to gain gold instead of hearts. Or I can just take all of the dragon in full. So I am just going to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought, I thought that would happen at the end. Yeah, because that's the shop ability at the yeah, end. Yeah, so, turn, so right? you still get whatever that. Uh, Do I still get the two hearts? Okay. Yeah, so you would get the two hearts and a dragon card, it looks like. Yeah. Let me... The dragon you place must match an icon. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I still get the two hearts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That's a really good move. This yeah. is actually way better than I thought. I mean, if you want to, if you want to do what you were going to do originally, we're okay with that, too. Yeah, and, and, and it says, and a dragon card? Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my gosh. 
So I am also going to grab then a – oh, I don't like any of those guys. I'm dragging one. Yeah, drawing they're, one they're not great, aren't they? I'm drawing one off the top. Okay, okay. And then I – oh, I, then I get to fire this guy up, which I can place a guy in town. Yeah. Interesting. So I am going to go and I'm going to place down good old Herb. Herb is going to go into this town slot so I can get a fancy dragon. Nice. And now I get to do the shop ability, which is place a dragon in the shop to gain gold instead of the hearts. Yeah. Oh, I get you. I get you. So then I will put down. Oh, gosh. I'm really making this really good for you guys. I'm going to put this old jet. I think it's her name is Jet. No, Moonbeam. Moonbeam is going to go in here. And I am going to get a heart and a gold, but I'm going to take gold instead of the heart. So I'm going to just going oh, to take two golds. I didn't realize golds. Uh, even when you move them that you get the uh, benefits. Oops. So wait, I should have. I'm going to make sure that I have the correct number of gold coins here. Right. I'm also going to take, I have the correct number of gold coins. I shouldn't take, because I took some before, but I forgot to take, put them back. Right. Okay. So now I have the correct number. Okay. That was a big turn. Whew. That's a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff happening. Whoa. Who needs the rule book? Ah, this guy. Rule. Rules. This guy. What are they good for? <laughs> Rules. Uh, huh. What are God. they good they for? Good for absolutely nothing. Sing it again. Mm. I don't think anybody needs to hear that again. <laughs> 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 oh, so outside of putting cards down to, uh, but let's say an area like this where you can draw. Mm -hmm. um, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. So... I'm trying to figure out like how to draw more dragon cards. Artists the, and dragon cards. The, the bread, the bread dragons will let you do that. Yeah, these bread dragons over here, like right there's one right here. Yeah. Down in the uh, uh, hello okay. nursery, and or, over or, here, you know, again, potable potions has got a bread dragon. Just, yeah, uh, just I know. throwing it out there for you. <laughs> I saw and that. You, I you got saw plenty that. of goods to share, my friend. I do. I do. Plenty of goods. There's so many but... goods. Let's see. See, before I even start all this madness, I'm gonna go ahead and play. I'm gonna go ahead and play Wesley. Oh, uh, I'm cash in a dragon. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and cash iron. in. Ooh, which I do have. Yeah. Oops! Like they they so big they can't even go in there. That's crazy. Actually, yeah, they. I think you have to put them in separately, individually. All right, and, and I, that gets me. Three I gave you your three points. I gave you nice. your three points. I get my two coins while I'm at it. Nice. I told That's you, man. Right. Capitalists at heart. Yeah. <laughs> so that. <laughs> so now, um, now that the money is taken care of, let's see. Oh, I could. I could. So I'm I'm actually going to go over here to uh, Critical Roles. Oh, that's cool. I like that name. <laughs> go ahead and I guess before I put that down, I get a bread and a potion. Mm-hmm. I think I've never played. <laughs> See, I've never played this before. All right. Now we got that. Place Suzette down, which would get me another coin. Cool. Mm. Capitalism, let's go. And then, <laughs> let's see. Uh, swap and fire something up. You probably want to, you were asking about getting dragons. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to make that more enticing. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and fire up Earl and bring Pan over here. 
Scandalous. And that allows me to fire up a uh, pen, which I'll go ahead and draw one of these. Scandalous. So yeah, like much that, bread. Huh? Right. So <laughs> much bread. Um, I think that's it. Fire up. Yep, I'm good. Okay. Fire them up. Fire them All up. All right. As much as this pains me to do, Ryan. What time it is? <laughs> I'm giving you some meat, Ryan. Ooh. Some baby back, baby back, baby back some ribs. Baby back ribs. You betcha. Because <laughs> I want to hit up Le Petit Dragon. Mm. Um, so I will take un bread um, and the meat that I just gave you. I will right, recover, right. Right, right. And one diamond. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I can place a dragon there. So let's place Cookie. And Cookie will give me four friendship. Bring Ooh. me from last place right into the lead. I mean, wrap He's... it up. Game's over. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're good. We're good. My goodness right. gracious. Running away. Yeah, yeah. So running away. <laughs> I feel just dominating right now. Um, and I'm going to fire up, I think, uh, Moonbeam. And I will collect a potion from Moonbeam and a iron token and let's go with a, another bread nice so good and that will be my turn i do believe all right and Please oh and you can't activate ride. the town ability because oh i can't well wait sorry you oh, can yeah. place a dragon in the shop or take all or. dragon in full what does take all dragon in full mean let's take a look dragon if in full, full. So oh. I think he gets these three, but uh, you place a there, dra- there, there should be a description of it in By the end means? of the book. Uh, if there are no... Okay, the dragon you place must match an icon on the slot you chose. Gain one coin per de- on the slot instead of gaining. If there are no other rewards on the slot, gain them as normal. When you place a dragon on this shop by any means other than this ability, gain the printed... And there is no other description. So I think he gets these three dragons, if I have to take a guess. Or so he, take he either... all dragon if full. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. That oh! So these go right into my hand? So you can... So the, the shop gives you the option to uh, place another dragon there if you've already placed one earlier in that turn. Right. Uh, to gain coin. Yes. To to gain coins instead of the the reputation. Indeed. Yeah. Or he could just take them all, and that, and that's his choice if he wants to take them. So it allows you to keep using this um uh, this shop. This ability. Yeah. Yeah. So all yeah, right. maybe I will take all three of. These. So these dragons just come into my hand. Yep. Boom! 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 Shut the front door. <laughs> that's actually a dope shop. I like that's, that. Oh my uh, gosh. That's pretty sweet. I like now, that because a lot. That, now, because that shop was full, do we play another card out? Yeah, because the 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 um the correct sequencing is that once it is full, you yeah. you just put one face down, and then at the end of your turn, you yeah, it was full, and so now okay, you bring it out. Right. So, oh my gourd! <laughs> I like that. Gain Next. two times reward from any empty slot here or gain two times all dragon goods here. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Yikes. That is some oh my. tasty gourds. Yeah, oh that, is, gourd oh, that is oh, my gourd. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, man. Oh, man. Nice, nice. All okay. right. Man, now you guys have been, oh, my. Oh, my gourd. Oh let, let me try let me try doing I think I wanted to do an enchantment yeah but... me too so don't pick the one I need please <laughs> 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 is it this one <laughs> I will never tell oh, okay pick wisely perfect okay Choose so I've got wisely. so I've Looking got at the things that Maurice has got I'm pretty sure yeah. yeah I've got my three leafies so I got two leaf tokens and a gold coin and yeah, I've got so two much gold, gold gold coins for my potions so i will enchant with whoops i will enchant this so i'm going to gain four points taking me all the way up to six 
My lead has vanished. And I'm going to get a dragon, which I think I want. Um uh, Yeah, I'm gonna grab I'm just gonna grab this guy here. Put that into town. And the way that this enchantment works is that now I'm gonna need to put this above a diamond shop. Yeah. Now I'm just now, Chris, I don't know if you know how do I tuck this under um, this card? Oh. Do you know how I can do that? There was a way. Is it just like oh I wonder if it's just Ah, uh, uh, there's a hot key. I can't remember what it is anymore. Can I just re uh, I can probably just right click on it though. How about that? Something like that. An achievement? Did I get an achievement? What did I yeah, do? I just got one. So I don't know if y'all got one. <laughs> oh. What did you get? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. It just took me off guard. I was like, whoa. I was like, I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just observing. Perfect. Damn, it has something little... to do with the number 10, though, whatever that means. Oh, so maybe some, 10 hours in this. 10. Yeah. Have okay. we been here for 10 hours already? <laughs> oh. oh, that's all that Marvel Champions I've been playing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then I think the last thing on my turn is I get to fire up any dragons at this location. Yep. yep. So I will gift a good to another player to get two more points. Well, you guys got like buttloads of resources. Yeah, but... Uh, but two points is have, two we points. Have, we, have, we haven't enchanted yet, so... Yeah, but, right. Talk but, about it. <laughs> two point, but two points is two points. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, but there is also who else is here? Oh, I see what you did, Chris. Is because now now you tucked these other cards underneath. Oh well. Oh, you just do that. Oh my gosh, you're uh, a wizard. I you know, it, I think it's thematic that I'm a wizard, right? Swap with another <laughs> dragon. Okay, I am going to swap with one of these bread dragons. Ooh. So that I can fire up this bread dragon. And, um, and when I place this, oh wait, I can't put that in that location, can I? I think you can. You just ooh, I don't think I can. What? That would break everything. Wait, 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 wait. Because you're not whoa, getting whoa, a reward get? for it. Oh, I just don't get the reward for it. Yeah, because you're not. Yeah, because you're just swapping. You're not getting. Ah, uh, just swapping. Never mind. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, and then I fire this guy up to grab another. Yeah card and I will grab this guy into my hand perfect that's my turn nice and to recap I did not gift anybody any goods you you really should have <laughs> remember I gifted you earlier oh that's oh. Ryan are you at a fragile reptile right now sorry yes I am oh okay no no wait no I am not because oh, I enchanted no. yeah I don't move your dragon. You don't move yeah, your dragon yeah, when you enchant. Yeah he, hasn't, yeah, he hasn't moved. And then a new enchantment comes out. Oh, you really don't move your dragon? You don't move your no. dragon for the enchantment. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so I found one thing I was doing wrong. <laughs> and solo. Okay. That's interesting. Well, no, nobody saw you doing it wrong, so it's okay. Yeah, because I thought you had to move to the shop to be able to enchant it, but it is uh, what it is. Oh wait, maybe I miss maybe I'm misplaying that. Oh, well, you might actually. It says because uh, at the very top it says visit a shop, give all players at the shop a gift to go on good, and then you true. gather or enchant. Right. So oh, you, you must, must visit. Had, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I I nope, Maurice. I have been playing that wrong. There we go. <laughs> Look at that man, free of charge. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I gave I gave you a tabletop simulator uh, achievement. This is baby. All right, sir so Ryan. Uh, this this might hurt me a little bit, but that's okay. I suppose I really don't need it to begin with, so I'm gonna come over here with you, <gasps> and I'll gift you a plant token. A plant. Oh, there you go. Thank uh, you. And then I'm you. going to go ahead and enchant as well. I don't like what is happening here. Yeah, it's oh. all right, man. It's all right, man. You learn to live with it. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, let's see. I pay three potions. Three potions, two meat, three. and a bread. Yep. 
I pay one meat and one gold. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, man. Being uh frugal. <laughs> and then my one bread. It's bread, yeah. Bread token. And then I'll go ahead and enchant it with some here. And Chris is gonna work his magic. I I don't know if I can do this again. Let's see what we can do here. Can you just like put that one? Is there a way like to send it? Just send it backwards. Ah, there is a way, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, you just push the U. Oh, is it you? Perfect. I think it's you. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Would I get six off of that? Six points. Yep, there were six points. Ooh. And then big gain. I go ahead and reap everything there. So I'll go ahead and draw a card. And then Oops, that's flipping. Good to another player to gain two. I don't have any more good, so I can't do that. <gasps> oh. Ooh. That's my turn. Okay. I think you uh, could I think you can gift gold. It's not a good. Can you not? Oh. Dang nice trotto. Nice well, just just just, just, <laughs> just <run away. laughs> uh, This guy. Yeah. Uh yeah. okay, gold. Um da, 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 da. can be spent or gifted as any good. When paying for an action, they are wild. So if you want to get two points, you can give somebody a gold. <laughs> oh, look at you looking up. Actually, I'll go ahead and gift it to you then. <gasps> Aw, hearts. Yeah. I'll go up another two. There we go. And that, folks, future Ryan here, that is how Maurice wins the game by two points. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if that happens, oh my I'm God. calling I'm it right retired. now. Maurice wins by two yeah. points. Yeah. I retire from playing crap. <laughs> okay. I'm going to head to Oh My Gourd. Let's go. Mm. And I'm going to enchant the Wraith Rose. Oh. So I will have to use a potion and two iron. I only have one iron, but I'll use a coin for the other one. And three diamonds, which I do have. One, two, and three. And that will earn me six points. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let me just double check here. Then I'm going to use Daniel's ability, my oh. once per game ability, to enchant. When I enchant, I can flame park dragons instead of the shop. Ah, so you can flame any number of park yep. dragons. So I will gain from rusty and from coal, I will gain, I think, two iron and two leaves because the sh that would work, right? Because I'm gain, in the leaf shop. Gain two of one good from shop or dragon here. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So that would count for that. So I'll do two iron and two leaves. And then I can place a dragon in town. So let's place this guy here. Which will give me two coins. Oh my gosh. Combo rific. Yeah. <laughs> and then I will do that again. And what else do I have in my hand here? Um, let's place. Let's place, oh, let's place this guy over here. Daniel sounds so good. And then that will allow me to open up another shop. I'm the only one that's opening up shops here, I'm just saying. So. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't complaining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> eh? um, and then I can swap Elderberry with a dragon in town and flame with it. So let's... Um, oh, and who do man I want? Out here playing 4D chess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, let's swap Elderberry with that guy. 
and then I will flame Hickory, and I will place a dragon in town. So let's place that guy there, Moonbeam. And that will earn me another one of those fancy cool dragons. Fancy dragons. Boom. All right. I feel, I feel like this turn took like a half an hour. I think it did too. Um, <laughs> can I use that fancy dragon right away? I... Yeah, if it's still your turn. Um, if it's a uh, someone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's okay. I'll hold on to that one there. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think I think you can if you want. Yeah, but that's okay. I'm not. It won't really help me. So. Won't. Uh, won't affect you too terrible. Yeah. Yeah. But now Daniel's been used. He's gone from the game. I can no longer gain his benefit. Mm, mm. But he was okay. good while he lasted. Indeed. Okay, so now... Hmm, let's see here. So we got the scale mail post that was revealed. <laughs> it's got a pretty good uh, shop ability. Draw two fancy dragons, keep one, and then give, another, give the other one to a player for oh. four points. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. That's amazing. That and you get nice. more fancy dragons by going yeah. here. Yeah. That is awesome. I am going I am going to reap the benefits of that location. So I am going to get a diamond and a good of my choice, because it's got the wild card hmm. symbol up there. So I think I'm going to grab another I think I'm going to grab a bread. Grab a bread token. And I shall. Hmm. Now, who do I want to play? I want to play my bread dragon, Loaf. His name is Loaf. That's that's fitting. I'm going to put him there. That's going to get me another fancy dragon. And... I can now activate this shop ability, draw two fancy dragons. Let's draw. I guess they have to go I have to bring them both into my hand. Yeah. Yep. And I have to give one of these to one of you. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> um <laughs> Who is going to want a card? Who wants a card? Who wants a card? Well, we hey, all man. do. We all, all I gotta say is, uh, remember who gave you gold? <laughs> the gold. That's all I gotta say. He's got hey. gold. Okay, Maurice, you can have a card. My man. Oh That's man. Like a, That's man. what. You know? Four one. Game two, in game three, in the system. Four points. Yeah. Heart to heart. Nice. Okay, that is my turn. Now I gotta take a look at these all these fancy dragons that I have in my hand. See if I can make any of them make any of my dreams come true. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh huh. Okay, that's a okay, that's a daytime effect. Oh, bro, you still going? No, i my my turn's done. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I, I I also like I also like to talk out loud. Yeah, yeah I, I hear you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just double checking, man. You sound like you was, you know. Oh, sound like a man that just got a fat stack and just counting up. The money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just count out loud. <laughs> you you, yeah. you don't count your money at the table. <laughs> hey, man. You know. Uh, hello, Vincent. He's joining us in the chat. Good old Quebecois. Ooh. Resident. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to nice. potable potions. Who play what color? I I am green. I gather. I am green at the bottom here. Uh, Chris Morris. He is the purple dragon up in the top left, and Maurice is the white dragon up in the top right. And yeah, we are. This board is getting full of locations. Yeah, man. Just saying, you're welcome. I mean, I have placed every single hey, one of those places. I appreciate you heavily, man. <laughs> Just I all about sharing you. here. All about sharing. All right. Sharing so I went is to, uh, caring. Yeah. Potable potions over here. 
<laughs> and I went ahead and gathered my two of each of those resources, and then nice. uh, then I'll fire up a dragon. Let's see what we got. What we got? I'm definitely gaining those three goods, so I'm gonna get a steel a potion. <laughs> Uh, I get one of these meat tokens, and that'll be it for me. All right. Okay. Well, I think I'm just going to head next door to the fragile reptile um, <laughs> because I really need more resources. So I'm going to take three diamonds. Got lots. Nice. Yeah, three diamonds. Lots of resources. Uh, one bread. Yeah. One bread and one leaf. All right. Then uh, I can place a dragon. Well, hey, let's just keep this going here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and we'll put down Frostfire, and Frostfire is going to give me a coin for doing so. A man has been putting in work on those shops. <laughs> yeah, I just, <laughs> I just got my hammer out. I'm just building away. <laughs> just building away. Um, and then I can fire up a ability here. So let's use Frostfire's ability to gain three different goods. And the question is, I think I'll take an iron and I'll take a bread. Oh, no. Mm. Um, yeah, bread and a leaf. Boom. I'm making and it work. Boom. Just yep. a little longer. I'm Just making a it work. little longer. <laughs> um, and then I can use the shop ability if there is one. There is not one. So that'll be it for me. We'll no. flip over that building now, eh? Ooh, let's see what we got. Ah, uh, it's Dragon Alley. Leave two coins Ooh. to gain rewards and visit another shop or take all coins oh. here. Wow. Shopping, sp shopping spree. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Leave two coins to gain. Oh, okay, so those spots. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you don't leave dragons yep. there. Oh, no. Nope. Yep. You just plop yep. down. Oh man! Now we need so now we know. need a way to get coins. Yeah. Now we just need some. Hey coins. man, speak for yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah but Maurice and I have got some coins. <laughs> oh, I blew my load I... all over that other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm yep. coming over here to the Smith Mart. I want to get my three. I want to get you know, three iron. You know, you do gain a coin for going to Dragon Alley too. Yeah, one yep. coin. That is true. Okay, yeah. one, two, three iron, and then I can flame a dragon. Oh, sorry. Do I play a, a dragon first? Yeah, I think it's yep. play a dragon first. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'll play this potion dragon here. I believe that is Jasmine. Yeah. And I'll get a fancy dragon. Nice. Another fancy dragon. And then I will... Uh, can I do it? So we get oh. another location? We are going to get another location. See, I'm contributing. Yeah. I'm doing things. Gain two of one good shop or dragon here. And I will, I, yeah, I'll, fl I'll, I'll flame up shale and I will take two potions. Just because I don't have any potions. Uh, they're overrated. Yeah. And there's no shop ability, so it's on to Maurice. Nice, nice. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go over here to Oh My Gourd. <laughs> it's a great location. And I'm going to gather to get two plants. Yes, I agree. It's a very good location. Mm -hmm. And a meat. Hmm. I like the clacking in this. Uh... <laughs> uh, I'm only accustomed to like Cards flipping, <laughs> no, yeah. just that, that the, the old the old like snap when it yeah. snaps down onto the table. <laughs> yep. Let's see, and then I'm gonna go ahead and place down oh. Lotus. Get your boy. 
Sorry, we forgot to flip over the location that Ryan placed. Oh. Uh, so we have Saving Throw, which is an iron shop. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, that that won't that won't change for me. Won't change anything. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Its ability is oh, place yeah. a dragon in town, and if you fill the shop, you get four points. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Uh... And then I'm gonna go ahead and flame of uh, flambe. Flambe. Place a dragon in town. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and place silver scale down here, and get myself another two. Two more hearts. Mm -hmm. And then I'll activate the the shop here. And I'll gain, I guess, two times from any empty slot here. or two times from all dragons. So that would be two plants, two meats, two, two diamonds. Is that what that is? I would, that's how I would read it. Gain two times all dragon goods here. Yeah. Like that. I like that. And uh, that'll be it for me. All right. Ooh. Okay, well, I will pop over to uh, good old potable potions. Oh, wait, and, uh, oh, since yep. I feel uh, oh, yeah, that'll, yeah, that'll oh, yeah, last yeah, half, right? Yeah. Ooh. What do we got here? Pause and pause. Come on, pause. <laughs> Flip a coin. Oh, how do we do that? Flip a coin. Flip a coin. If heads, yeah. draw. Dragon tails, draw. Fancy dragon, pay one coin Ooh. to flip again. Yikes. That's interesting. Can we actually flip coins? I'm assuming we can. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you add an? El can you add anything to this game? I know you've locked us out from doing that, but in your objects. Oh, there did I? Be did coins. I? Yeah, that's okay though. Um, uh, in your objects thing, you might be able to uh, get a coin. Coin. Uh, da, da, da. Where am I? Dice. Miscellaneous. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, there's a quarter. Nice. Okay, well, I'm going to head over to uh, to that potable potions, and I'm going to enchant with a hoppuccino. And I believe I will be using all four of my plants that I have. Nice, 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 nice. As well as all three of my iron and one coin. Nice. To pick up eight victory points for that. Oh, whoops. So, what am I doing? So that will bring me up to 18. Kablam. And that was. Say it was your first time, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's my, best, that's my best move of the game, though, so. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that, that didn't answer my question, though. <laughs> I mean, I've played, board, my question. <laughs> I've, I've played board games before. <laughs> first time. That's huh? the, yeah, if that's the question. Um, uh -huh. And then. I can flame any number of dragons that are here. So uh, I will gain three different goods. So let's take an iron and a plant back since I'm missing out on those. Um, and then I'll also take a meat. Whew. And then and we then... also have uh, jewel heart. So jewel heart will give me another iron and another plant and this time we'll take a potion. And then the last dragon there was Earl, so I can swap with a dragon in town. So let's swap with Cinnabon. And then I will activate Cinnabon. And I'm gonna draw myself a new dragon from the old deck there. Nice, nice. Oh, I like the name of that dragon. Hmm. Roxanne, <laughs> you don't have to put on the red light. <laughs> oh man, there's a blast so from the sorry. past. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sorry for anybody who had to hear that. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, that is uh, that's it for me. All righty, my gosh. Okay, I am also going to do some enchanting. I've got two bread tokens and three iron tokens so that I can do my uh, displacer beef. Nice. 
displacer beef here. I'm going to put it up there. It's going to get me four points, two, three, four points. It's going to grab me a dragon card, which they all kind of seem the same right now. So I'll put that in there. And I guess I get to flame up all of the dragons here. So I get to flame swap on. with a dragon in town. And which dragon am I going to swap you with and then flame it? I will swap you with, where's one of those diamond cards? There's one there, there's one there. That doesn't really help me out a lot. So let's just go with, okay, I'll swap you with this one. Bring you over there, whoop, whoop. And put you there, whoop, whoop. Which means I get to flame it, which gets to give me three different goods. And do you know what? I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab three potions. Uno, dos, tres. And I am going to, oh wait. Oh, I guess I should have moved my thing. I didn't want, okay, I already had, po yeah, okay, I already had, po you're going to be over there, right? I got lots of potions. And I can now flame up this guy, which now allows me to place a dragon into town. And who should I place? I want to get, I want to get something good. <laughs> I want to get something good. Who should I place? Where are some places that I can place? Who's, who's, what's going on over here? Who's a what's that? Hmm. hmm. Ah. I'll place good old mulch over here to get me three victory points. Two, three. And that is my turn, I believe. Hmm. All right. And I'm just trying to tuck this card under there. There we go. Perfect. Orcish orchids. Hmm. All right, Maurice. Yeah, like I had an idea for something, and I can't even remember what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> so Maybe kind of like happens when you start to get old, but you know. So kind of keeping everybody up to date on the end of game. There's seven dragons left in the dragon deck, and there are eight enchantments left in the enchantment deck. All right. Cool. And do we get the equal number of turns, or is so whoever, whoever ends it? They still get a turn. Okay. So everybody gets one turn okay. left. All right. Mm. Well, I guess I can... I shall pay all of my things that I didn't put away. Oh, wow, yeah. That's, that's probably wow. important. Wow. <laughs> How we know we're not getting robbed over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's crazy. They, that's they, were crazy. Out, they were outside of the green box. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I should I should actually use my uh guy's ability here at some point. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Daniel was uh was pretty effective for me when I used him, so. Hmm. Just trying to remember which shop I wanted to do like that again. Oh, yes. But I'm also trying to trigger one of these one of my dragons, and I'm just not doing a very good job of... Oh, yeah, I, I have no hope of <laughs> activating any of mine. Some of my endgame ones, I might have a... Uh, I might have a chance. Well, you're better than me, then. I might have a chance. This other guy grabbed the wrong goods. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Bro, that's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> like, none of these are fitting the way I need them to. My my sunshine dragon that I have here is just not good at all. Actually, I'm going to have to take one of these off the table. All right, so... Uh... <laughs> all right, Ryan, I got you, bro. Oh, oh, I? oh. I'm coming over here with you. Excellent. Uh, let's see. I give you a potion token. Oh, because I need more of those. 
Yep, that's exactly <laughs> why. <laughs> then, how, how many have you got there? You got six? I got six. He's got a lot. Yeah, yeah. He's got a lot. And so I, I'm going to go ahead and uh, enchant with Laflam Blarge. Nice. And I'm gonna pay my diamond. And I believe plants. the li- I believe the limit on um, tokens, like like of one good. I think you can only ever have I think it's six. Oh, okay. Of one of one particular good. Okay. I'm just You're trying to find that again. It's, it's it's six or seven. I, I want to say six. Uh, I was think a, it's seven. Is I it seven? Seven. All right. So we can give Ryan one more potion. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> seven of each uh, resource and six dragons. That's uh, what it is. Artisan ones. Yeah. Little do you all guys right. all know that I just need to have the most potions. Yeah, and just get you, some... win tw- you get 20 points at the end, right? <laughs> <laughs> all righty. So I went ahead and enchanted that. Well, the, the, na- the name of the stream is I Win. Reward. <laughs> <laughs> this dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So good. Yeah. Fire up <laughs> dragon. I am kind of digging the flow of the game. Now everything's kind of starting to ramp up. Now when you go to places, you're just going to get buttloads of goods. Just so many things. Early on. I'm going to get my three resources, and that'll be it for me. Okay. All right, so we just flipped over empanadas. I don't know if I'd want to eat any of those. (laughs) This guy. Imps. All right, so I think I'm going to go visit... um, the Smith Mart. Nice. And I'm going to enchant again. Okay. Because Joe Forgeman came up and I happen to have four bread and three meat, but I also have a coin. So let's just do what I kind of did before and score eight points from that. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Stick that over there. Banner. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. Do that there, score eight points, and then I can fire these guys up. So um, I guess... What have I got here? You get so much stuff. Yeah, I'm going to take two iron and two potions. And then... With uh, Jasmine here, let's swap Jasmine with Cookie. Jasmine with Cookie. Yeah. And then I will fire up Cookie, and I will grab a card from the top of the deck there. And I think that's it for me, hey? Sounds. Put out a new... uh, card sounds lovely sounds lovely. all right okay i am going to oh my gosh which one do i want to do now hmm so many options so many options but i think not enough time but i think the one that makes the most sense for me at this current time i'm going to come over here to this shop which is called the Oh my gourd! Oh my gourd! Oh my gourd! I'm gonna grab myself some three leafies. Uno, dos, tres. Hey, you got another potion too, man. I'm gonna to grab a meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another potion. <laughs> I think that's my yeah. max. I think that's your max. I yeah. think it's my max on potions. Yeah. And then I get to flame up a dragon, which I am going to flame up this guy. Swap with a dragon in town. Mm-hmm. I'm going to swap him over here with this guy. Wow, that uh, that Hello Nursery is just all potion-centric now. And now I get to gift a good to another player. <laughs> I wonder what I'm going to gift. Chris, you can have a potion. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. And I'm going to grab I mean, two points now, for that. Now I've got six potions. <laughs> now I get two points from that. And yeah. then I can use this shop ability. Mm-hmm 
which is gain two times reward from any empty slot here or two times all the dragon goods here. So that would give me, what, four leafs and two more meat? Yeah. I think that gets me my max you are, leafs. You are just killing it with the resources right now. And then two. Oh, I think I stacked one by accident, but that's okay. And another one. And two, th oh, no, wait, no, no, too many, too many, too many. And, oh, I get to actually <laughs> play a dragon. If a shop has three of the same Ooh. dragon in it. Oh, it this, does. I get six points. Nicely done. Two, three, four, five, six. I've been trying to set that one up for a while. Wow. <laughs> And and I'm spent. Wow, that's a lot of resources you got sitting there. I know. Now I got to try to spend them on things. I guess I could, if I wanted to, I could use my guy's ability and I could fire up the shop again. <laughs> but that would be too much. That's overkill. I don't want to do that. Maurice, take it away. Oh, you know what you can do, Ryan? Uh-oh. Watch this. Huh. Just stack them all into. <laughs> Just stack them all nice for you. <laughs> but but where but where's where's my where's my chaotic <laughs> mess of tokens? It was it was really messing me up, man. Oh, oh you're one of those players. <laughs> See, I'm the guy who plays Twilight Imperium and has his ships yeah. just like everywhere. Just everywhere. <laughs> just spread it. <laughs> just splattered all over the table. I'm like, oh, hey, I that still have a dreadnought. Wild. Cool. Yeah. Is, is that dreadnought on the board or is it just touching? <laughs> Maurice, are you uh, organized? All the tokens have their space. Yes, sir. <laughs> you, you are also just. Yeah, you're the only agent of chaos on the, at this <laughs> yeah. table, bro. <laughs> The only agent of chaos. Oh man! Ooh, yeah. Wow. Well, I try. I I, I like to say I keep things interesting. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> to say the least. Huh? <laughs> say the least. Um, All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to. Oop, I'm dragging the whole thing with me. Yeah. <laughs> over to potable potions. I go ahead and gather. Get two. Hey, hey, it's called Potent Potables. Potent Potables <laughs> all the way. You know that Ryan's coffee is going to have that sharpied out in a moment. So. <laughs> I need to create, I'm going to create a, la a, a clear labeled sticker <laughs> with the same font. Yeah. Nice. Same design. Nice. All right. Cardboard Alchemy. Cardboard Alchemy. Please. We are going to do some talking because I want a sticker <laughs> for my card. Please give me a promo just, card. Uh, a promo card that replaces it. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> One of those. All right, I'm done. Okay. So, again, this is the first time I've played this. I think I'm doing oh this right. Oh, my gosh. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to head over to the Fragile Reptile here, and we're going to enchant with the Mirror of Truth. And I happen to have four iron and four potions. That is correct. So I will take another eight points. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, oh, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to use Twinkle here. And Twinkle says, after enchanting, gain two victory points, or two happiness, two friendlies, two, two friendship points, per enchantment of the same type in town. Oh my gosh. So I'll take six more points. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks, Twinkle. I'm having a hard time trying to get this underneath here. There yeah, it's like it's hit there. and miss, right? All right, so then I will activate these guys, and I'll gain three different goods. So let's grab an iron back. Let's grab a meat back. And let's grab, what else am I low on here? I'll grab a plant. And then I will, with Her Herb here, Herb is going to let me gift a player something. Uh, oh, hey, Ryan. Oh, choose me. Choose me. Yeah. Here, take another potion. Boom. And I'll take two more points for that. Oh, my gosh. Maurice, what's happening? <laughs> 
And I don't uh, know what just he had happened. A really good turn. <laughs> yeah, he had a really good turn. And let's uh, let's grab potato and add him to my hand here. I'm collecting we'll the wrong resources. There. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it there. So we'll flip that one over. Oh well, wait, I have a gold coin that's all sitting down in the bottom here. Yeah, <laughs> you've had you've had that sitting there for a while, man. Oh my gosh! See, yeah. I've been too busy focused trying to keep the board focused on stream that I keep yeah. <laughs> losing my resources. It's okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. Right, I'm wow. gonna throw my resources away here. So, wow, what a turn! I felt pretty good with that one. Well, actually, it was like three turns in a row that I had <laughs> some good ones. So, Did we mention that Chris designs games? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that usually doesn't that bode true. well for me. That, that is true. That never bodes well for me. Um, I mm. believe when we played one of my prototypes, Ryan, uh, didn't you kick my butt quite I... heavily in it? Oh, that was your um, plant game. Yeah, the zero scaping game. Zero scape, yes. Yeah. yeah. Did I I'm kick butt sure on you, that? I think you kicked butt. I'm, I know that I came in last place, oh. <laughs> and it wasn't because I was teaching and trying to pull punches. Cause... Okay. Yeah. All righty. Well, since I know that I have that coin there, and it is my turn, <laughs> I can I can I can play down pinky I can play down pinky toe because I've got five meat. Nice. So I got my I got four meat tokens and a coin, so that I can grab myself uh, three points, a whopping three points, two, three, and two gold coins. Nice, nice, nice indeed. And go back to my chaotic stacking of goods here. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I can proceed with the rest of my turn, I will move my dragon, which. Which thing did I want to activate again? Oh, yes. I am going to come up over to yonder. The, I believe this thing is called the scale mail post. Scale mail. I am going to grab a diamond. Oh, what? That's stacked? Oh, crap. <laughs> Bread. <laughs> Bread. Uh, a wild card, which will be another Bread token. And I will play. Nope, I can't play down a dragon because my dragon in hand does not match one of those two symbols. So I shall then flame one of these dragons, which I shall flame up good old Moonbeam. Grab me another bread. Grab me um, meat. And grab a do, 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 what I'm oh I'm maxed out on potions and plants. So let's just grab another meat. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's just wait, he's gonna just destroy us in a moment here. Uh okay. Now I'm gonna activate the shop ability, which hmm. is draw two uh fancy dragons. And then I have I'll, to gift one for four points. I'll give you your four points. Gain okay. And okay, I will gift. I think last time I gave one to Maurice, so I think I'll give this one to Chris. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Oh, that's sweet of you. And I'm yeah. going to flip over Eric. Uh oh. And I get to activate this again. The shop again. Nice. So I will draw another two fancy dragon cards. Nice. And. Mm. And I will, you know what? Spread the love. Maurice, have another card. Ooh. And then I think I get the, Did you give me another four yeah. points or do I have to give? Take, oh, uh, yeah. You can take, I gave you four points. For the original? Yeah. I did and, not give you another four. Two, three, four. There we go. Sorry. I was concentrating on something in my hand here. No like problem. Trying to, read, trying to read what you gave me. And that is my turn. I have so many of these fancy dragons, I don't even know you what sure to do. do. <laughs> okay. Okay. End of game. Oh, man. They don't even do anything interesting. They're all end of game. So I'm just going to yes, rocket up that point track at the end of the yeah. game, I guess, right? Yep. That's going to be your... Is that how it works? That's going to be what's so happening. I'm going to get destroyed at the end. So... <laughs> 
Critical Roles. Critical yeah, Roles. Go ahead and enchant it. Oh. With uh, Creme Brulee. Nice. Mm-hmm. And pay my iron potions. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, uh, what was the other one? Uh, three plants, right? Um. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um. Uh, three I plants, three two plants. potions, and an iron. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. Mm. We'll be up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I will. Let's see. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Go ahead and activate pan. Now I'll take Rusty. And then. Good old Rusty. Tannin. Swap. And then fire somebody up. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and trade with Loaf and fire up Loaf. Nice. So we'll give a new dragon here. Have we? Okay, just a question. I, yeah. Have have we have we filled a location lately? No. Okay. Just. I don't think so. Okay, because there is room for two more. Oh, okay. Spots. Oh, they go here. Yeah, at the very end, uh, at the, at the we end. We might have the... filled something at some point. I was checking because I was like, two, there's three, still because there's still four, five. Yeah, because there's, yeah, there's still... two more spots. Wow. Yeah. yeah. There's, uh, there's still room for two more spots. Okay. But I can't think. I don't think we've really. I don't been think playing we did. Dragons no. lately. Yeah. Yeah, we've just been enchanting and. And stuff. Which makes sense. Yeah. All right. So you're done, Maurice? Yep. Okay. So let's flip that. Potions and meat. Or sorry, potions and bread. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, I don't like my options here. Yeah. Let's. Where am I? Here I am. Oops. Oops. Let's move myself up to La Petite Dragon. Oh, we're going to do this thing again. Yeah, I'll take a bread. Because I don't have any bread. And I'm going to play a dragon down, I guess. So It's been so long since I've done this. Uh, I, don't know, I, don't know what, do. I don't know what to do. Yeah, exactly. Um, so what can I do here? I can play a bread, a potion, a meat, or anything. So let's place this guy here. And that will give me two points and a dragon. So I'm going to draw a dragon here. Mm. And two points. Boom. And then I can fire up that dragon. So I can place a dragon in town. So let's place... Mm. Ah, well, hey, let's just do this. Let's place Olive over here. And that will give me a coin. And that fills up a location. Magical. Yeah. <laughs> just just like Ryan said. <laughs> and we've got Tip the Scales is the new location there. And then I can place a dragon in the shop to gain coins instead of hearts or take all dragons if full. So uh, let's place that guy down here. And then I take... Do I take two coins? I am or just one coin. Looking which one which slot did you put him into? Uh the la the last slot. So yeah, you can choose to take uh two coins. Yeah. Okay. I will take two coins. All right. That's it for me. Perfect. Yeah. I am going to where is my dragon even? Oh there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know I totally lost mine too. So. Uh... <laughs> Wait, wait, Maurice, wait, is, Maurice is just like blending right into the uh, critical yeah. role too. Uh, when you play with those big fancy dragon miniatures, it's yeah. kind of hard to lose place. Okay, yeah. I'm taking my guy and coming over here to whatever this kind of like meat shop is. Draco Bell. Yeah. Draco Bell. Draco Bell. And I'm going to enchant it. 
Ooh. with the smoked gorgon because I have four bread tokens if I spend nice. my yeah. coin and I have my four what was it again uh, four potions uh, I got four po- I got four potions we, we know you have potions <laughs> so I'll give you eight points thank you Two, three, four five six oh look at that man good job okay and I'll bring it up over here and I'll put that there, I'm just here participating you're yeah you got the participation badge well, yeah man I'm just here playing yeah and... but are you having fun oh yeah I like this yeah, game a lot yeah yeah Oh, now, oh, wait, enchanting, which means I get to fire up things. You get to fire things up. Oh, fire gosh. Fire it up. Oh, man. So then I get three goods of my choice, which I shall, oh, my gosh. Oh, three <laughs> different goods. Sorry, three different goods. So I will take, my gosh, what do I want to take? Um. What do I need? I'm looking at my dragons now. Yeah. I shall take uh, a diamond. I will take a meat. And I will take a potion. And this other guy in town, I guess, lets me place a dragon into town. Oh my gosh, where are there? Where are some places that I can place him? Oh, I can place him over here. Yeah, I can get three points. I'm going to put this guy, Flint, into this spot for three points. Nice. Two, three. And before I forget to do that this turn, I did enchant a location. Ooh. So I get to get one point per each unique enchantment type that's in town. Ooh. But I believe there's all six are out there. So that's six One, points, two, eh? three, four, five. There's six different enchantments. So that's another six points. You drew another one of those? Three, four, five, six. I got the first one, I think. So, so now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my fifty my fifty marker yeah. there. There you go. Mm, look who's now, winning. Now my turn is done. Look who is winning. That was another Ooh. big point turn. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go over here with with me man chris hey yeah. thanks buddy yeah man we trying we trying <laughs> yeah i guess i actually i actually get something this time yeah that... <laughs> I, think this is, I think this is the first time somebody's visited my location hey man you know i'm just trying to help out i, I put a meat <laughs> token over there for uh, you thanks buddy yes sir and i'm gonna go ahead and um gather here so i get a bread a meat and a diamond Mm. You know what I just thought of? What's that? Uh, we probably could have had like tokens spread out on the table. Oh, probably. Probably <laughs> that just that just crossed my mind. But no, wh- why would we want to be yeah. efficient? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and play honey here. Honey, get, uh, honey. Uh, I guess hearts. we'll One, flip two, another location three, down four. here. Then let's see. Guess we don't need those. Yeah. Ah, Funky Brewsters. I like that one. Where have you been all game? Yeah, Take a exactly. dragon here to hand, replace with the park dragon, and flame the new. Ooh, that's a nice oh, one. Oh man, man, that's that a nice one. Awesome. That's so much yeah. better than these coin locations. All right, are you are you all finished there, Maurice? Not yet. Oh, um, okay. he's taking his hour long turn. Yeah, yeah. No, that's all good. That's <laughs> I wish all it good. was. I wish it was uh, plentiful, bro. Yeah. I wish it was plentiful. <sighs> but I'll go ahead and use. Um, where am I? I'm gonna use potato to place a, a dragon in town. Nice. I'm gonna have Rusty come over here so I can get all myself right. a fancy dragon. Nice. And then get those fancy dragons. See, gather, please. I already got that. So the shop ability. You can take all the dragons into hand. You know what? I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah. Then I end my turn, but I'm going to go ahead and play Peter. So since I re- um, revealed a new shop, I move over there and I take another turn. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Interesting. 
Nice. Interesting indeed. Yeah. So Peter gives you a potion. What's that? So you're taking another turn. So you get the potion there from Funky Brewsters? Ah, uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Throwing one over in your pile there. Appreciate you. Yeah. Mm. And then I'll play Opal Wing here to get another two points. Nice. So is this uh, Maurice's little dragon card, Peter? Yeah, oh, this God. is his special ability. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Go to a new one and take a new turn. Nice. Yeah. Please. And then I'll gather another three resources. Nice. Look at you go. Yeah. Dude, I'm trying, bro. <laughs> we trying. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling that the end of game is nigh. And then I'll close. go ahead and use the ability. So I guess I can take this one back. Yeah. And, and replace, then replace with the, with the, the park. park. Fire it up. Fire it up. Fire it up. Fire it up. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put Lavender here to get another three. I don't know if you get the placement bonus, though. You just fire up the... Oh, it replaces, that's right. Yeah, it replaces yeah. with a park dragon. Yeah. And you just fire up its ability. So is that the dragon you want to... Well, you can so swap it with... Anything. Yeah. You can swap it with a, a non-meat yeah. or iron dragon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so in that case, I'll go ahead and do this one. Okay. Nice. Then I'll gain two, two more iron. Nice. Mm. Oh, there's only one dragon left in the artisan deck. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. All right. You're done now, Maurice. Okay. So I'm gonna run over to critical rolls, and I'm gonna enchant, and I will enchant with the impanatas, mm. and I will place three plants and three diamonds, and two coins. Interesting. Yeah, so that'll give me eight points, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One behind Ryan. And then... Hmm. Hmm. And then, after I enchant, then I can flame up the dragons there, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yep. All right, so I will just draw two dragons, one and two. Hmm. So you guys get one more turn. And you also get one turn. And I get one more turn, yeah. <sighs> no, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I felt okay with that. Yeah, no, sir. I don't like it. Yeah. Well, do we get? Do we get a decent? Do we get a decent enchantment six pointer? And I think I can do it. Just make sure I want to make sure that I have. What do I have for tokens? What does everybody else have for tokens? I should be paying attention to that. Oh my gosh! Look at Maurice. Yeah, Maurice is going to there. Everything. Oh my yeah. gosh, I'm not even going to pay. It. I'm not even going to try then. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Did you, did you have an end game scoring that? Uh... Might have. Yeah. Might have. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All right. I think I should just take at this stage. I think I probably should just take points. Yeah. Because they seem like they're good. So I will come over to... Where am I? I will come over <laughs> to and... I shall enchant... Which location shall I enchant? There's lots of things that people... There's lots of different things that can be enchanted. Uh, we'll enchant this, the old iron shop here. And I'll enchant that with this doohickey with a plant token two diamonds and uh, three meat. All th whoops, all three meat. 
and that will also allow me to grab two of one good from shop or dragon here I will take just make sure here what do I got oh no okay so I will take two two iron oh. or bread yeah and I'm gonna get to do that twice yeah okay I'll take I'll take two breads I will then take two irons and I will take then this other guy just gets me a dragon dragon yeah sure not sure how helpful that's going to be right now that, but... that extra dragon isn't going to be that, <laughs> help, that <laughs> helpful yeah, yeah. But, okay all right I think that was me all right Maurice Ooh. four uh, so I'll just come over here to yeah I'll be moving the whole thing there we go <laughs> <laughs> Potable potions. Take the shot. I'm with going you, to right? go ahead and <laughs> I'll go ahead and enchant. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use dwarven stout. All right. And that was the last enchantment now as well. Mm. I'll go ahead and says two bread. Does three iron? Uh, three iron. Yeah. Oops. Got a feeling I should have done something different, but oh wells. It yeah. happens, brother. It happens. Yeah. It happens. All righty. Right there. And then I'll get six points for that. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then activate. So I'll take one of these. Why not? And then. <laughs> Need three different goods. So I'll take a diamond potion. Oh, this, I got a dragon here named Hot Dog. <laughs> nice. he's got, he's got, nice. He's got some wieners on a stick. And that's awesome. That's great. Probably that's, that's all he eats. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> all right. You're good, Maurice? Uh, see, I drew one, gained three. Yep, I'm good. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm just going to head back over to uh, the Dra Draco Bell, and I'm going to draw five meat. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and a diamond and an iron. Um. Yeah, a diamond and an iron. There's a diamond and one iron. Oh, did I take your diamond, Maurice? Yeah, but it's all good. Oh, okay. Sorry. I just, I'm just I over here, like, <laughs> painting it all out. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And I will, I'll place, I'll use, um, let me just make sure here. So I got that. Uh, I can use one dragon ability. So I will place the, I'll use Cutlet's ability here to place a dragon in town. And I will place Dandelion down here. Dandelion, that's a great name. Yeah, and that'll give me three victory points. No, sir, don't like it. <laughs> that's the best, best move I could make. So, All right, and I think that's it for me. I'm not going to fire up the... Yeah, yeah, just fired up uh, Cutlet's ability there. So that's Perfect. It. Yeah, and there's no shop ability to use. Yeah, so we're, we're good there. So... We are into the end of game scoring. So we all got our final turn. Yeah. So if you have leftover gold, that is one gold for mm -hmm. one point. I'll take two points. I will take a point. How many points do you get, Maurice? None. None. Yeah. No gold. All is going. Yeah. And now we reveal our... Uh, nighttime end of game scoring dragons. All right. Uh, do we just want to do this one at a time, or yeah, go for it. Okay, so I've got Todd here. Todd, Todd gives me one point for each type of good that I have in odd numbers, which is only going to get me one point. 
<laughs> one big point. Oh, Todd. What a card. Yeah. What a card. One point. Todd. I didn't plan that out very well. I have uh, Gemma here gets me one point for every two diamond dragon cards. Dragon. Yeah. Ooh. So I see there's two, three, four. There are five, five. diamonds, so I yeah. get uh, two points. Two yeah. And I don't think diamonds are the most dragon. Uh, yeah, um, that's hard to tell. This is, a, <laughs> this is actually this is actually part of this game that's hard to tell. Yeah. Which dragon has the most? Um, iron. We have one, two, three, four, five. So iron's tied, so does that. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. And then there's like like one, two, three. There's five bread. Five bread. How many greens? One, two, three, four, five greens. (laughs) There's four four potions. And one. Oh, there's there's six green. Is there six green? One. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, up there. Okay. All right. Okay, so, so no extra so points. That did not work. Yeah. Okay, I get one point for every two bread dragons. Ooh. So one, two, one, two three, four. Three. I think that's another so two, two points. points. Yeah, yeah. And I get another one point for every two meat dragons. Uh, um, um, there was one, two. I count two meat dragons. Yeah. So one point. That's another one point, and that is all of my. It's a nice. lot of in-game scoring. They can all, right. all go there. You want me to go next? Uh, sh- sure. Okay. So Ryan gave me Carney. Uh, so I get two points if I have three or more meat, and plus three if I have the most meat. And I do with that last move that I made there. So nice. two, three, four, five points there. And remember, at the beginning of the game, I said, I got boo-boo. <laughs> Uh, so I get one point for each good that I have two or less of at the end of the game. And I have one diamond, one potion, one bread, two iron, and no... What's the other resource? Um, uh, leaves. Yeah. leaves. Yeah, you have no leaves. So that'll be five more points, green. I believe, right? <laughs> yeah. One, two, one, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Wow. Nice. Right there. Yeah. And and, come, and that's that's it for me. And here comes Maurice. I only got my two that's here on the table. So I got uh Zircon, which is giving me two for having three diamonds. Plus three that. if I had a love most. that name. That's a great name. Uh I got seven diamonds. I don't know if Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, you got us beat. That's there. You got us beat. So give, give me and, five. Um, yeah. and the same and thing. With it's the potion. same yep. Same with I the potions and another five. Yeah. It brings me up to fifty, right nice. up there. Swap your swap your victory point token around. You made it. Oh yeah, you're right. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Oh, grab the fifty. Oh, no. oh I got yeah. you. Got you. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. They, yeah. They could have just flipped them. That would have been. Yeah. 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 So there we go. We've got, so we got fifty, and then we've got what is this? Sixty-six and sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. One point. Yeah. That, that guy. Good. Right there. <sighs> boo boo. Hey there, <laughs> boo boo. <laughs> he went and got himself some had, picnic baskets. Exactly. I had this I had this guy in my hand the whole game. And I don't <laughs> know why I would ever use Starburst. Who it's is like, pay, Starburst? Pay, so pay the cost of an enchantment, score it and then leave it in the row. Because all it does is just leaves it open for you guys oh, to yeah. take it. But, like cost of an enchantment. but I guess if yeah. you had enough, because you could play that yeah, at the beginning was... of your turn, and then you can, yeah. and then you can enchant it again. Yeah, right. but there was never a point where it actually made sense. Mm. Um, yeah, I looked at it several times. I'm like, no, nah, if if I do it, I'm just leaving it right open for you guys to score points. So. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good. And yeah, it has I, a very I love interesting. These games, man. Yeah. Has a very interesting beginning, middle, end mm-hmm. to the game. Mm-hmm. Very slow. Yeah, it ramps up well. But then yeah. it ramps, and then yeah, because we're getting resources left, right, and, and center. Lo- 
I love the way that you like you can combo some of the um, enchantments together as well. Because there was, I think there was three turns in a row where I just enchanted, enchanted, enchanted because mm -hmm. right. they kept giving me things and then being able to uh, to trigger that into another one. So very cool. Yeah. It yeah. is. I, I have I've mentioned it before that it is a bit lighter of a game than I usually enjoy. But mm -hmm. man, oh man, there is some charm that there is to this game. Mm -hmm. This one has a lovely charm. I was calling it when I when I played it my first time with my son and my wife that I said I think this is going to be family game of the year material. Ooh, nice. I think that okay. there's, there's there's a very lovely charm about it. There's nothing really too overly. Yeah, we, you can get as complex as you want, like mm -hmm. with some of Chris's turns. That you can, yeah, you, some of the, <laughs> but even so, I I don't think it was overly complex, no. especially if you're playing in person. Uh, TTS makes it more complicated than it than it yeah, is. Yeah, a little harder to move uh, the pieces around yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, because I, I like what you were saying with um, making it as complicated as you want. Because uh, I was still trying to figure out when I wanted to do a review for this game, and now that I've played with y'all, um, like I know I can definitely make one now. Mm. Because what I love about this game is you really only have two choices to make. And that's either to enchant or to gather, but there's so many small actions on top of that that makes it that 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 brings out the combos for it. And it reminds me a little bit of uh, Lost Ruins of Arnak, mm -hmm. where you really have one major turn, but you have unlimited free turns depending on how you know what what however many of those actions you have. So looking at a game like this is so easy to teach, and there's a, a few of those uh, nuances that that you have to keep up with. But I think that it's you really only demand people to make one or two choices. Well, I guess technically three with, with where they want to move. And then do you want to gather or um, mm -hmm. or enchant? And I think that with everything that's going on at this table, people probably would have a hard time looking at it and be like, oh, you only make two choices and all this come out of it. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. like and, that's, and, and I think that it's just brilliantly designed to be simplistic with uh, complex reactions to it. Yeah, very yeah, very well said. This is one of those games where it's just like you could play I you could play this game with literally almost anybody. And I and mm -hmm. I and I and I think most people are going to have a, a a decent amount of time. Is is this game for everybody? Absolutely not. There's going to be some people out there that are going to think that oh, you know what? That that wasn't too that was too simple. There wasn't very really many interesting uh, choices, but I, I think it had it has enough there. It ha it has enough on it has enough meat on the bone, if I want to use that analogy. <laughs> yes. That that it's not going to go cold over winter. It's going to stay nice and warm. Hundred percent. Flame Flamecraft is going <clears> to <throat> stay nice and warm. It's going to stay in lots of people's collections for a very long time, and I think they're going to get a lot of mileage out of out of this. When um, when you've played it in person, Ryan, what's been the the average play time? Uh, with with us, it's been, you know, roughly an hour. Yeah, like yeah, that's 40, perfect. Forty five minutes to an hour, ish, yeah. and that's like me and my wife, me and my wife and my son, mm -hmm. uh, playing it, and that's like helping him out with his turn and stuff like that too. And so yeah, it's yeah. been like a forty five minute to an hour. And that's not bad. So, yeah, yeah, that's that's perfect. That's perfect for what it does then. Yeah, because it, it like like we said, like it can clip along once you know, because there is like Marie said, there's only the two actions. Don't be the guy like me at sits at the table and thinks about his turn for like, like 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 ten minutes before like like Ryan. All you have to do is place your dragon down. Come on. I can definitely <laughs> see there being some AP with certain players though. Um, well, what does that mean? Yeah. Uh, analysis paralysis, where they just oh, have yeah. yeah no idea where they're where they're going to go. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's. Um, it could definitely happen, but um, I think that again, with the options being as as limited as they are, um, you know, do you have enough resources to to enchant? Then you're going to enchant. Mm -hmm. If you don't have enough, then you're going to a location. What's the best location that's going to give you the best bang for your buck? So, yeah, there's not a lot of decision space to be made, but it's 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 the right kind of decision space. And I think it's going to ramp up a little bit too. If you have a a, a slightly higher player count, we only ran mm -hmm. into it a handful of times where we went to the same location as somebody else to give them yeah. a good, yeah. in order to yeah. go that um, that that little interesting decision will pop up more in say if you have like the the like a four or five player game probably, 
mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, um, I think I think in a four player game, it's going to be yeah, you're going to be fighting for locations a little bit more. So yeah, yeah. But once the board gets filled up here, once there's lots of uh, there's lots of options. Once 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 all this whole all this stuff came out, we rarely ran into each other. We kind of yeah. really ran into each other more often in the in the early game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the coin locations I found weird. Mm. We, you get... we had the two. Yeah, we had the two of them. They gave you a coin because you can't enchant them, right? Correct. That is correct. You can't enchant them. And, and yeah, it's the coin dragon in the wild spaces. I think you can't enchant. Yeah. yeah, and then the the dragon alley one. I mean, it looked really cool at first, but you're giving up points which are the coins, which are a very, very valuable reason. The Dragon Alley was just a weird location to me. Yeah. Yeah, the one I that really... I don't see that being super beneficial. Yeah, it's like really give up two points to gain three points because like mm-hmm. you can give up two points to get uh, five a points dragons. in, in, in yeah. one there. Or you can get like two point, Give up two points and just mm-hmm. get a fancy dragon because really, really all that one spot gives you is just it gives you a fancy dragon. Yeah. Net yeah. zero on the points. Type yeah, thing. It's, it's well, I guess technically it'd be one for three then, because you gain a coin for going there and then you drop down two. Yeah. And then you yeah. Five. yeah. But you're also losing an action too. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah. That was yeah, that was one. that was the one location that when it came up when I first looked at it, I'm like, Oh, that seems really cool. But then I looked at it more and I'm like, I can't see myself really going there. <laughs> yeah. Like, it just it didn't yeah, it never really appealed to me at all. Yeah, and then there's the mom pause, which I created yeah. the coin, and then we yeah. know, and then then we didn't use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just there, just in case. Yeah, yeah, but that was an interesting one where you could flip a coin, heads draw a dragon, tails get a fancy dragon. Then you can pay a dollar to just keep. If you had keep lots of dollars, it. you could just keep going, getting dragons or fancy dragons. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it could be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you get three points for placing a dragon into that into that location. So they yeah. were interesting. I used the ability of the uh scale mail, which got me to draw the two fancy dragons and then give mm-hmm. one to another player for four points. Yeah. I used yeah, that you did one that a couple times, three times, I think, right? I used it once, yeah, and then I did a double Double yeah. activation with my uh, companion so was, dragon. Was 12, 12 points that you gained from that. It's crazy. That's a really good one, yeah. Yeah, and there, there's a big stack of those um, special ones that get shuffled and get shuffled. In. And then there was there was two locations that we didn't actually get, uh, that we yeah. didn't actually see. Actually, the one of them here, roost. I see, yeah, one was a, drag, was a dragon one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you get a dragon for going there. You place dragons face down to get mm. points. So... Oh, huh, that's interesting. So they wouldn't count for like say like the end of game or anything. scorings. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I like the full plate buffet. Gain one of each type of good and then pay a coin to do it again. Oh. Ooh. That's very cool. Yeah, the full plate buffet. That's a really cool. Look one. at that guy. He's so happy dishing out the food. <laughs> 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 the art in yeah. this game is so whimsical. It it's is very so cute. fun. Yeah. There is not, I, I don't know. If, if you if you come into this game, and you say I don't like the art, then just move on, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Like this thing is so charming. It's so whimsical. Lots of good puns going around. I don't. And the and the solo for this is really good because yeah. it it plays out regularly, but on so so it plays out like a normal turn. Mm-hmm. But when it's the uh, I guess technically the automa turn. What you would do is flip the top card of the artisan dragon deck, and then whatever color, uh, but you you will place it on the next available uh, spot that it could be. So, mm. like if uh, let's see, so if I just if I drew this one here, uh, who is this? Wingnut. Uh, wingnut. Yeah. So what you, you will use the other uh, what do you call them? Like like the other meeples. Mm-hmm. And so what what happened is you would draw this card and then you would place it on the next open steel position mm. that's that's at a shop. And if there isn't one there there, you discard the card and draw another one until you mm. find a card that matches the the logo of uh 
mm. or, or I guess the icon that or, of an open space at a shop, mm. and you place it there, and then whatever color it is. So since this one is a blue one, you move the blue meeple there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So mm. then, all are all the dragon meeples in play then? Yeah. So they'll oh. they'll start coming into play. Uh, there's a rule on how they how they're enchanted, but I have to double uh, double check to see mm. what it is. Yeah. Because I think they also enchant at some point as well, but and they also reveal shops. So you're just you, you play your turn and then you flip over a, a, a artisan card, find the next open spot forward. If there's not one, you discard it and draw another one, mm. and it just keeps on going. That uh, and then you go back playing your turn, and it's so it's super quick with the decisions that you make. So just like the decisions that you make in game, the automa have a super quick uh, checklist it goes through. Super and then, fast, and then those locations would have a dragon. So then, do you have to give a good? To you, that? you would have to discard a uh, d- discard it. Oh wow! Because what you're trying to do is they they have like these tiers of scores mm. that you're trying to get. Because you of course you bought the game, so you could play with the whole game. But they have like an achievement system to where if you score a certain amount of points, then you have the opportunity to add in certain cards into your next game. So you had opportunity to play with more and more, mm-hmm. or, you know, if you just want to experience it all, then you could just place it all in, in a game. So it's just a way for you to consistently better yourself with getting right. the score up. Right. So you're not going against an automa. You're just trying to reach certain scores right. to unlock more cards in the game. That's really cool. I might need yeah. to give that a try sometime. <laughs> Which... Yeah. It's super cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. That's awesome. Well, thank you gents for joining me tonight. This was an absolute blast. I'm glad I got to actually play this with some other guys that are not my son and not my wife <laughs> <laughs> who are oftentimes reluctant to play with yep. me at times. Yep. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was fun to actually have an opportunity. I think that yeah. you wanted to be here. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fun, I didn't man. force, I didn't force anybody. No, so. there was, yeah, there was, there was nothing, nothing like that, but uh, yeah, no, it was good. I'm glad that uh, it's been a long time since I've done a streaming event. So uh, very oh. glad to finally make this happen. So, right on, right on. Yeah. Let's just remind everybody where we can find you, lovely, lovely human beings on the internet. Uh, where can they find you, Chris, and interact with you? Uh, so I am on Twitter as Spider Mo, um, Spider with a Y, just to keep it weird. <laughs> um, you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Hive as well on both of those uh, apps now. And uh, yeah, just thanks for having us over on here, Ryan. And hopefully, keeping our fingers crossed when that design, first design, gets picked <sighs> up by day, a publisher. One yeah, one day. It'll one day. Well, I have one design with a publisher. It's just a matter of getting it published. Mm, there we go. Um, yeah, that we're holding out for. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. I'm uh, just trying to get back into uh, actually getting stuff pitched out there again. So Nice. And Maurice, where can we all find you? Absolutely. And before I say that, uh, Chris, I'd love to see what kind of games you're cooking up. Um, yeah. Because you seem to pick this one up pretty quickly. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine you you out here, like, creating Lacerda games. <laughs> oh, I, no, no. I'm definitely in the in the medium weight. That's uh, that's that's my wheelhouse. But, uh, yeah, let's connect, Maurice. That. That's correct. Oh, let's absolutely. I'll, I'll yeah. go ahead and. Uh, hop on Twitter with you. Um, yeah, sounds good. Speaking of which, uh, you all can find me on Twitter as uh, M underscore Andrews Jr. Um, come and chop it up with me. If you got any questions on Marvel Champions or if you disagree with a video I made, I'm always here for debate. So <laughs> I, I, I prove you wrong, whatever it is. And then um, my YouTube channel is just my name, Maurice Andrews Jr. I, once again, I talk a lot of Marvel, uh, Marvel Champions. I do reviews of uh, solo board games or games with solo variants um, and just talk different topics that, that happen along the board gaming community and culture. Right on. Yes. And I will have a link links, multiple plural. Let's call it like that of <laughs> the media that you can follow these lovely, lovely gentlemen all over the interwebs. Um, I'll have a link in the description of this video. And before we say good night to, uh, to all y'all, If you haven't liked the video yet, please, it's really easy to do. Just hit the little like button. Hit the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. It's really free. It's free. It's free entertainment at this point. Hit the notification (laughs) bell 
so that you get notified live every Tuesday and Thursday evenings. And next Thursday, oh, sorry, not next Thursday, this upcoming Thursday, Jason from the Dyson Dragons YouTube channel is going to be joining me. And we're going to be playing Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances. It's a little, Man. it's a little Disney skirmish style game, and we're going to be playing the two expansion packs that have come out recently for it, provided by the Op. Thank you, Op. And on that note, I think we're just going to say good evening. Thank you for making us part of your Tuesday evening, or whenever you're deciding to watch this video. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Good night, everybody. See y'all. Take it easy. <laughs>